Salem, it's All Church Tithe Sundays when we're asking that each member of our congregation prayerfully consider trusting the Lord with the tithe, 10% of your God-given resources during the month of November. So I wanna to speak to you concerning the tithe from the thought, trustworthy with someone else's property. Today, by coupling an Old Testament verse with a well-known passage from the Gospels, we gain a new dimension into the teachings of Jesus. Listen to Leviticus chapter 27, verse 30, where it says this, And all the tithe of the land, whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the tree, is the Lord's. It is holy to the Lord. The scripture clearly states that the tithe belongs to the Lord. In a sense, what a person does with the tithe is a test of his or her honesty. Now, some people may rationalize by saying, it's not much. It's only a penny out of every dime. I need it more than the Lord does. Besides, it's costing me more than I make to survive. I'm really not dishonest because I intend to get caught up on the tithe as soon as I get a raise and take care of all these bills. But take a moment to think about it. If you were the Lord, would you give more money to a person who had embezzled your money for personal use? I don't think so. Yes, the tithe is very little, but it serves as a test of our honesty and commitment. According to Jesus, if it is irresponsibly handled, it affects and influences everything. Listen as Jesus speaks in Luke chapter 16, verses 10 through 12 in the New International Version of the Bible. Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. And whoever is dishonest with very little also will be dishonest with much. So if you've not been trustworthy in handling worldly wealth, who will trust you with true riches? And if you've not been trustworthy with someone else's property, who will give you property of your own? Now verses 11 and 12 are not just rhetorical questions we can dismiss. The questions demand an answer. If you would substitute your name for the word you in these verses, the internal and eternal impact might be very revealing. As you prepare to give on today, repeat these words in your heart. Lord, today I willingly present the tithe back to you. I can be trusted with the little things. Consequently, I can be trusted with the big things. I eagerly anticipate true riches and prosperity of my own. Amen.